Hi guys, Sergio for Martial Art Tutorials here. Today I bring you the worst self-defense advice ever. I was watching a video online of a super popular YouTuber where he said that don't put your hands here, that's USC, that's because you have a referee. Let me explain you something. Nobody that knows how to fight put the hands right here because he said that it can be used against you on the street that they will punch, no. Your hands, and this is something basic, this is how I do it. I am not gonna talk about styles. Just common sense, okay? First, you need to learn how to close your fist. You can do it either this way, which is the traditional Japanese way, or the Chinese way. I know that there are other martial arts that use that one. Okay, secondly, your hands doesn't go tied up in your face. That can only be said by somebody who hasn't fought. Secondly, you have to opt to use a wide stance to have some certain balance Boxers usually square up, martial artists usually go side by side to expose less part of the body. And the hands doesn't go like this because if not you will be facing a person here and not there. So right here, you turn, and right here will be something like this. Now, the hands is like saying that uh, you're gonna fight somebody on a horse stance. You don't fight in a horse stand. The horse stance is for you to understand and to learn. Uh, at the beginning is to strengthen your muscles, your quadriceps, but you're not supposed to fight like that. And you use it on a fight, but it's as a transitory position. Let's say you throw a kick, somebody's coming with a punch and you go below because that's called positional combat. And that's how you use it. And that's why you need to practice that. The same thing with the guarding position, any fighting art. Filipino martial arts, uh, sanda, Muay Thai, boxing, you have to have a fighting position. This chat is from the movies, even though you can do it. But when you really look, somebody that knows how to fight and takes like a fancy position, you should do that like three, four meters away from the person. That's reality. So this, that, that advice of not fighting with your hands up is the worst self-defense advice Ever. and if somebody is teaching you that it's gonna get you killed that person is is responsible that person is robbing you and also there is something that we need to talk about it when you want to talk about soul defense you need to address this anybody anybody can have a knife with you and you need to know how to use the knife how to do the techniques I am not a Cali guy but I have taken seminars with credited masters the point is, guys, make sure you know who you're training with, make sure who you're, you're landing with, and, and who you put your trust in. If you see a master that claims to be this master and he doesn't tell you the name of the style that he practiced, he doesn't tell you his credential, he's afraid to let you know who he trained with, what lineage, and he doesn't take or accept sparring invitation, that's shit around you. That's for sure shit around you. Okay, take care, watch out, and ah!